video I'll try to explain microcontroller based heart rate meter. To begin with let me show you the content that I'll be covering today. First there will be an introduction followed by a detailed description. After that I'll show you the block diagram. Then we will take a look at the circuit diagram. Then I'll be throwing some light on its advantages and disadvantages followed by listing out its applications and finally concluding with the future scope of this project. Introduction This project explains how a single chip microcontroller can be used to analyze heartbeat signals in real time. This means that you can measure and display the heart rate of a person in real time using a single microcontroller IC. Here the heart rate is measured by using the pulse method. Now what do you mean by pulse method? Pulse method is actually using the pulse rate to measure the heart rate. For that we should know what do you mean by heart rate. Heart rate means the number of times our heart beats in a minute. In other words beats per minute or BPM. When our heart beats it pumps blood into our body parts. We are going to sense this flow of blood into the finger to find out the heartbeat minute. Now you might be wondering how are we going to sense the blood flowing into the finger. For that just take a look at the following image. As you can see there is a finger inserted between the light source and the LDR. LDR means light dependent resistor. As the name suggests, the resistance of LDR depends on the intensity of light. If the intensity of light is high then the resistance will be low and if the intensity of light is low then the resistance will be high. Now when we place the finger between the LDR and the bulb, the light will reach the LDR through the finger. To make it more clear, let us look into the next image. Here the finger is placed such that the LDR can sense the light coming through the finger. When the heart will pump the blood, the blood will flow into the finger and as a result the intensity of light reaching the LDR through the finger will decrease. This will change the resistance of LDR. This change in the resistance can be used to calculate the heart rate. Let us now summarize the whole process. First, the blood flowing into the finger can be sensed photoelectrically using LDR. Then, this sensed signal is converted into voltage and amplified by an operational amplifier. Then, this signal is given to a microcontroller to process it and display it using a 7 segment display. Now it's time to look at the big picture that is the block diagram. First, an amplifier with a filter is connected to a microcontroller which also has a clock. Then the microcontroller is connected to a buffer which is finally connected to a display. Each block is connected to the power supply. As the block diagram is clear, we can now look at the hardware description. There are many circuit diagrams available for this project. Here I am showing one of them. In this diagram at one end we have the light source and the LDR part which is connected to the amplifier and filter. That is because the signal received from LDR has to be amplified before processing. This signal is then given to a microcontroller. Microcontroller will compute the heart rate per minute. The program for calculation has to be burnt into the microcontroller IC. The microcontroller output is then given to a driver which is used for current amplification and further connected to a 7 segment display. Here they have used a 7 segment display. You can also use an LCD display and some other microcontroller IC as per your convenience. Now let us go through its advantages. 
लो पार कंजम्पन इट कंज्यूम्स लेस पार दैट इज कैन वर्क ऑन फाइव वोल्ट बैटरीज द लाइट सोर्स कैन बी एल ई डीज विच कंज्यूम इवन लेस पार पोर्टेबल इट इज अ स्मॉल एंड कॉम्पैक्ट डिवाइस विच कैन बी कैरीड ऑन द गो इट इज क्वाइट ईजी टू यूज एंड अंडरस्टैंड एंड यू डोंट नीड मेडिकल नॉलेज टू चेक द हार्ट रेट Along with the advantages we need to know its disadvantages too so that the project can be improved further It is not precise the obtained heart rate may not be accurate and may contain some amount of error It always requires a constant light source for the measurement If the LDR or the sensing device malfunctions the reading will have a significant change and the user may not know that the readings are incorrect now let us switch to the most interesting part that is the applications it has many many applications let us go through some of them it can be used in fitness centers gym to check the heart rate while exercising athletes and sports person can use it to keep track of their heart rate while training medical assistance in far off places without doctors is possible with this device it can be converted to a mobile app or a wrist watch that displays the pulse rate in short it can be a smart and a compact portable device for anyone anywhere Before winding up let us look at the future scope of this project storing we can store the heart rate in a database or something for analysis purpose connecting with email to send alert messages if the heart rate goes low or very high we can develop it further by adding other biomedical signals like breathing rate along with heart rate you for going through my slide and wait a minute if you have any queries do post it in the comment section and oh don't forget that there is a like button and a subscribe button that's all thank you